Hey everyone, Zeno and Zuma here, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, Gengar tried to make everyone give up, but we can we persevered, and we're getting ready to go to Magma Cavern. Okay, are you all ready? All set. Okay, all set. We should both get a good night's sleep, and we'll set out tomorrow. I'm in that dream again. <clears throat> Gardevoir. It's tomorrow, isn't it? Let you take to that underground dungeon. Yes. They make it sound like one terrible place. I wonder if we'll be okay. <laughs> You'll be fine. I'm certain that you will succeed, Zeno. You have my support. Please, go with strength. I will. Thank you. I'm feeling a little braver now. I will go for it. By the way, Gardevoir, do you know what it's like underground? Or what Groudon is like? I'm sorry to say, I can't envision it. Okay. I thought maybe you knew something the way you said it. No, I only wanted to give you encouragement. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine too. I'm happy that you tried to cheer me up. Thank you. There is one thing that I can foresee. Hmm? Your role is coming to its end. Little by little. My role is ending? You became a Pokemon in order to fill a certain role. And that role brought you here. Now that role is finally drawing to a conclusion. Gardevoir, tell me! What is my role? Why did I become a Pokemon? When the time comes, I think I can tell you when this adventure is finished. Au revoir. Good morning, Zeno. Do you sleep well? Okay, this is it. Let's do our best and save Alkazan's team. God of her said she will tell me everything when this adventure is over. Is going underground the adventure she meant? Will she tell me if we rescue Alkazan's team? <laughs> Are you still asleep? Let's get going. We got one more time, one more chance to prepare. So, if you see anything, you want to buy. Buy it now. Sorry, seems my controller is slightly messed up. Sorry, I just had to check if a certain job was posted. Now, if you watched the last episode, not only do you know that this dungeon's gonna be a bit different. This episode's gonna be quite a bit different. This must be it. Groudon is in this underground cavern. Whew! Look at the streams of lava. It's going to be scorched hot in the dungeon, I think. Our rest team should be should already be here. Let's get going and try our best. Magma Cavern. At the beginning, there are very few fire types. Later on. There'll be a lot more fire types. Like always, since there is a boss at the end of the dungeon, I will only be recruiting one Pokemon. Weirdly enough, there's a lot of poison types in this in this early area. Of course, there are other Pokemon here as well. Steel types are here, and we'll soon see much later. Don't use. Uh, 
Of course, there are a lot of ground types as well, which makes more sense. But back to what I was saying, this episode is, is going to stop in the half at the halfway point. Now the cavern. Now I now I can actually talk about it properly. This is where the, for your first monster house usually is. Picked up a cover band. And here is Nido King. And here is the other Pokemon that you have to worry about, Nido Queen. So, good news is. I might, I went past it like an idiot. We want to use a full full hold, full hold or and we want to try and take them out individually. Wait. Oh, it's engine power. I mean, an idiot. That purple sludge is grimy food. We don't want that. No. All power up orb is really good. If you've got grinding food, just poo away. That's really only use for it. It's just to be used against Pokemon, and really, it's not really that good. This is also since this is, a, this is also the dungeon that also has a lot of monster houses. Apparently, I've never had this many monster houses back to back. This is also a good place to grind experience if you need need it, but if you don't just run <sighs> getting rid of Crobat. I'm sorry Crobat, but no I have another Pokemon I want to try and get to appear. Yeah. And this is why this dungeon is kinda scary. Because of Pokemon that have magnitude and eventually Earthquake.
I'm sorry, New King, but you're also not what I want. We won't be getting to the Pokemon I actually want to recruit until much later. Okay, this is actually a really good scarf. We'll get, we'll put this, we'll get a little bit of, we'll put this on, uh, Scythe. Yeah, this episode's going to be pretty long, but I'm not surprised it will be. Why using Solar Beam? Oh no. Uh, this is usually not this bad. Yeah, it's usually more like this, where there's very few items about, but the few items there are, are okay. Don't use, because you can kill that thing. <sighs> I can't believe this is how this this dungeon is going. It's not this bad, y usually. God. Uh, I'm just. I don't. I don't. I don't. Honestly, admit. I like the theme of Magma Cavern, and I like how it's situated in the story. But I absolutely hate this dungeon. More because of how many Pokemon have magnitude or earthquake. It is god awful fighting Pokemon with Man to an earthquake. Especially if you're like me, trying to keep your Pokemon alive. Why are you leveling up, Ivory? Why are you using Solar Beam? I'm just glad the boss fight's gonna be a breeze.
Really? <laughs> God. This is the point where new Pokemon start being added in, like Magmar. And this is where the fire starts coming in hot. If you've got any grass types, keep them keep them, try and keep them sandwiched between people. And always check up sparkling spots. Because you never know when there might be a Reviver Seed. And you'll need them. Other Pokemon that appear are... Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Relicanth, I will not lie. Part of me wants to save Relicanth, but part of me also doesn't. Like, seriously, part of me... Yeah, you also have Arbok, and you also have... I... I... Part of me will wants to. But I don't know if there really is it's worth it. Cause there's a, there's a different Pokemon I definitely want to recruit. Well there's technically two Pokemon I want to recruit here. One of them I want to recruit mainly because Thanks. Because of, well, Hyper Beam. I guess I get. Oh, there it is. There's the Pokemon I was wanting to actually try and get. Marwell. Uh, I'll talk about. Great. I've only just realized I don't have. You know what? I'm going to use Rock Orb. Slumber Orb. There we go, Mawal. I was hoping for a Mawal with the fact. Now this might now Ma, you might just not realize why I well well this dungeon specifically I don't need Mawal, but I rather get Mawal right now. And what is up with this dungeon and liking giving me Lunatones? Okay, so. You guys probably don't know this. Well, actually, you probably do because I probably talked about it a lot. I have a personal file. In my personal file, this game, for some reason, in this dungeon, after I got past ten, floor 10, just loved giving me Lunatones. I don't know why. Like, Lunatone isn't that amazing of a Pokemon, but it's also not that bad of a Pokemon. I think people... I think people, when they rag on Pokemon, they rag on them too harshly, to the point where certain Pokemon aren't actually as bad as people make them sound. I have to play this even more carefully because I just don't have any reviving items anymore. Thanks, Ivory. Wish you'd done that sooner. Oh my 
my god, slow trap. You've got to be kidding me. Good, Revira Seed. Yes! Yes! You know what? I'm gonna use a Troll Orb. I was gonna try and keep this for later on, but... Really? <sighs> I hate this dungeon even more. Right! You're here! Macargo! If I wasn't doing the challenge I was doing to myself, I would have actually took that Magmar, because that Magmar's got a good ability, a good skill, bargain. Okay, we're moving back. God, you've got to be joking. Sorry, Scythe, but I'm going to have to just give up on you. I hate this dungeon. <laughs> Go and remember, this dungeon was worse in the original. For for preview of preview for just the virtue. Of just Marwell well, might be fine actually. Yeah, and that's why Marwell is actually kind of good in this game. But I'll go into more why Marwell is actually good. But <sighs> the, remember po the poke grass they, the grass they didn't have their good moves other than. Poison powder, Durr. but can actually deal with this dungeon well. Oh my god. Oh. 
I'm getting cursed. I have to be getting cursed. There's just no way I have not r just run into a room without... Uh... I know what I'm trying to say. Without stairs. So, like, spawn in with a room with stairs, I should say. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, I hate this dungeon. Picked up a zinc. This will be kind of helpful. Just need a few more floors and then we're safe. <laughs> My God, this, this, this run fell to absolute shit. There's no other way to put it. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. No, I don't want to deal with you. I don't know why I didn't use clear smog on me, but hey, an ivory, but hey. <sighs> Come on. Oh my god, no! Well. <sighs> yeah. I didn't expect to faint. And I didn't mean to record, but an issue happens. Thankfully, I managed to stop recording before the issue came up. But oh boy. So I've done rescue off screen, that, which I can at least talk about now, I guess. This, it's, that's one of the things I really love about this game. You can actually rescue yourself. Because sometimes people just can't. Partly because they don't have online. Or, they might just not trust people. <sighs> anyway, this part of the video will probably be... Well, if it does end up being a part of a video. Will probably be uh, segmented. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, I've never seen the item actually be here. There's a slot in the door next to it that says, Welcome to the Captivating Mystery House. Insert your invitation to enter. Do you want to insert the invitation into the slot? Because I want to show this. Plus the items in here are actually quite useful. There are open inside. Oh my god! We got one of the Pokemon I was actually wanting to say, see. Oh, part of me wants to actually exclude my uh, r usual rule.
Mystery houses! Usually are small rooms, but sometimes they can be big rooms with free Pokemon. That you that usually are Pokemon that you've never gotten in your uh camps. It's not always, but it's usually. I wanted to keep it up. <laughs> but because of Steelix, I want to keep these guys because... Uh, probably say no to you, Relicanth. I'm sorry, but I... Normally, not normally, these rooms don't have this much space, but big rooms do, and they usually have a deluxe chest. Now, this brings me to a problem I have with the remake. And that is midpoints. In the original, you could send Pokemon back home. And this was one of the most amazing features because it meant that, oh yeah, if you if you create a really a really rare Pokemon. Actually, going to allow Probe Pass to faint. I'm sorry, Probe Pass. I hate doing this, but Yeah, I'm going to actually try to. Now, now, I would have been actually trying to keep more while. <sighs> Don't. Normally, I would have kept, but not only did I get more while. <laughs> in the rescuing myself, I do want to keep Steelix. Steelix does have something important I do want to show. And it makes me wish I actually bought the Hyper Beam TM. Minimize. Well, the worst combination is actually be actually being lowered and dealing with minimize. Oh, come on. This is going to be kind of useful, annoyingly. Ah, Sandvale, how overpowered you were.
You have got to be kidding me. Just gotta hold on. And drill run. We won't revive Steelix because Steelix... But we will, because we got a revival orb. <laughs> really? God damn it. Revive seed. <sighs> right. Now that big X, that's probably... God damn it! Stop giving me this Pokemon! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am, I just really hate that this game, for some reason, is... Like... <sighs> sorry. Usually, I don't get angry too often, but that, that actually upset me, I won't lie. <laughs> More because of this, this, this run is just shitting all over me. Thank God. Alright, the midpoint, we're here. Sadly, we've got to keep the boxes, but we don't need to worry too much. So, I'm going to quickly tell you how you should probably set up. Get rid of the Carbos. A Tor Orb might be useful. So, the first things, we want to withdraw. All our actual reviver seeds because those will be useful. And we've got to deposit one more thing. I'm going to deposit. Withdraw. I would be depositing those boxes, but the game does not allow me. We want the empowerment seed. But we also want to deposit. Withdraw. 
And where are they? The link boxes. We want to bring out each one. Of course, we can't use them immediately. However, the next few floors are going to be very short. So the strategy is to get through them and then pop the empowerment seed when we get to grow it on, on ivory. And of course, we will be using the all powered up orb. However, that'll be next time. So, next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, we can finally, finally face Groudon. I'm sorry this episode got split into two. That was not my intention. I'll s if this episode ends up actually being one episode, then it won't matter. That means I found a way to get around it. But if it isn't, I'm sorry. This was not my intention. This was meant to be one full episode. I feel bad, but there's no way around it. See you. This is Xenonizima of Rescue Team Mystery signing out. See you guys then. Oi.